Hello everyone. I am Ashwin Kulkarni. Welcome you all in this quantum computing learning journey. It's a good time to start quantum computing right now because it has a very promising road map and a bright future ahead. So let's get started. Hi. Let's get started with the very basic question. What is quantum computer and why it is getting so much hype nowadays? So we all know our classical computers are able to drive off many energy and it is able to give many efficient solutions for the world uh, throughout uh, years right also it is able to solve many complex problems we are able to send many rockets spaceships to the space because of these classical computers the things that we use day to day like mixer grinder cars uh, any power plant everything has some or the other uh application of a classical computer but nowadays there is so much mainstream adoption happening for quantum computers it's not as in that we all users are going to uh use it in our day to day life but still there is a mainstream adoption by big enterprises is happening nowadays the quantum industry is expected to be grow by 1 trillion dollars over the years over the next 10 years so the expectation is but why what is the problem in the classical computers that people are going to solve by quantum computers right so that is the basic question so the the, the basic problem that in the classical computer is about the bits so in the classical computers we use bits as a smallest computing unit right which is used to transfer the data which is uh, used to store or manipulate the data but these bits are in the form of zero or one it can be either zero or either one at the same time right uh, it it cannot be both at the same time now so there is a stream of 0101001011 like this up to something these streams are con cons consistently uh, getting manipulated and getting compute computed on our classical computers but if you want to solve a very complex problem this stream will get bigger and bigger right because this is of 0 and 1 and it can store only either of these value at a one one at a time so if you want to solve any particular complex problem this stream is getting bigger and bigger and this is what this is where the problem uh, problem is happening because as your stream grows your computation power uh, requirement increases along the way and that is causing a problem so for an example a one quantum computer built by google solve a particular problem in just 4 minutes which a classical computer would take 10 years to solve that so this is how optimized a quantum computer can be so quantum computer uses quantum physics at its core the concepts of quantum physics but of course we are not going to go into the construction of quantum computer we are going to uh, focus on the software part of it so uh, the quantum com as i said quantum computers leverage is power of quantum physics so it it is basically uh, uses the photon uh, photons in it now the qubit is a centerpiece of a quantum computer now you you'll ask what is a qubit right so as i i already explained a bit in a classical computer so classical computer and quantum computer right so classical computer has a bit which can be either 0 or 1 and a classical computer has qubit which can be 0 1 or in between as well so this phenomenon is called superposition of course we'll go in depth of this in later videos 
but uh, this is how you can correlate in between these two now a qubit can store 0 1 or a combination of these two at a time so of course it is able to store too much of information compared to a normal bit right so a classical computer can store either 0 or 1 but a qubit can store any of this information so it can be here it can be here it can be here it can be here or anywhere on this 3d display 3d space so so this is how a qubit uh, can work and it can store uh, too much of information the value of bit uh, being zero or one is just an abstraction right <clears throat> the reason behind that is it's actually a transistor in the back end which works uh, for 0 or 1. So, do you guys remember the transistor that we used to we used to draw in our high school or the college times? So, this is a transistor, right? The transistor is the smallest building unit. So smallest building unit of a computer, of a classical computer. So how it works is uh, essentially if, if uh, it, it uh, needs to pass a current, then uh, it just stays to one. And if it needs to block the current, then it uh, just stays to zero. That is how simple it is. But in contrast, as I already uh, uh, told you guys that uh, quantum can have 0 and 1 both of these value at the same time. So how, how this is uh, gonna possible? Because a qubit can build using two level quantum system. So what are those two level so it can be a simple phosphorus item phosphorus atom with silicon semiconductor and there could be many many possible ways to build a single qubit and researchers are still working um, working on the idea about how how to build a perfect qubit but but there is no uh, such thing uh, introduced yet now uh, the qubit stores uh, different kinds of information and uh, it stores a combination of zero and one at the same time is called as superposition so how superposition is represented so it is a simply oh, sorry. it is simply a combination of zero and one with some probability to it for example this is the example so now what are these notations right so these notations are called as ket this is the ket notation uh, so there are two types of notation one is bra notation and one is ket notation so We'll learn about these Dirac, Bra and Kit notations in later videos. For now, this is the basic, uh, uh, this is the basic introduction about quantum computing and uh, what is the uniqueness about quantum computing and how, how it is different from the classical computing, right? So, what are the key takeaways from today's uh, lecture? So scope of quantum computing, current state of quantum computing, industry, what is qubit,
and superposition partially i would say so uh let me know how how this uh lecture is and what are the things that you learn from it and what are the different things uh, you want more from me in later videos in the comment section and thank you for joining me bye